Hi, I'm Helen Jones from Me and My Genome. This is part one in a series on the Genome AccuEdit software for your iPad that connects to your MemoryCraft 15000. The first episode is about how to get started and a few of the tools that are included. Have a look. Okay, let's get started. Grab your iPad and the first thing you want to do is find your AccuEdit application on your iPad. I have all of my Genome um, apps all on the same page so it makes things easier to find. So once you've done that just tap on the AccuEdit and we'll get started. If you haven't used this application before what you'll find is it will open up into the tour so I'm just going to open that up now so we can have a look at each of the pages. I'm going to take you through each of the four icons that are shown on the first screen to give you an idea of what they do. The first one you can move this around by putting your finger on the little um, round circle off to the side and that allows you to move it around. So if you've got a graphic in there and it's in the way, you can move it. If you hit the box, it will then open up all of the little extra items that you can use for editing your um, designs, etc. I'm going to close that for now. So that's the first one that's um, on the screen. The second is the magnifier, which is up the top. This allows you to zoom in and out, depending on the size that you want. So that shows you the whole hoop. For most of what I do, especially when quilting, I use it at this level so I can see it and how it fits in the middle of my hoop. I'll turn that off. Okay, the second one is how to select your sewing machine. So... At the moment, this isn't going to work for me because my sewing machine isn't turned on. But you, you need to realise that your machine needs to be turned on if you're going to send something to it. And it also needs to be set to the ready to sew screen. But we'll go through that at a later date. So at this point, I'm just going to hit down. The other options we have here is a settings clog. Tap onto that. So you can name this if you want to reuse it. Um, the hoop size, the size, etc. You can change the background from yellow if you don't particularly like it. You can turn the grids on and off, depending on what you want to do. And also it just tells you the version of the software. The next section talks about how you can add a design and add some, add some text to that design. So we're just going to go through those two things. Bottom left corner is a picture of a little flower. I'm going to tap on that. This brings up a list of all of the designs that are on your sewing machine. I'm going to go with the quilting ones. So tab on quilting designs. At the top left it will tell you the size of the hoop and what they're designed for and further down you can see the 2300 by 2300. Um, so for this particular one I'm going to pick um, the heart. It's always fun to use. It's just checking that that's what you're after and then you can tap on done and it imports it. So as you can see, it's not very big um, compared to the, the hoop. You can put your fingers on it and make it bigger and smaller, but we will go through that a little bit later. But what I might do is just add some text to this. Pop this up. You can have it going vertical or horizontally. I think we'll stick with vertical for today. And I'll go... I... Love... And done and I can move this up by just putting my finger and then let's add some more text my genome and done and I can move this down here okay now that these are here this could be now sent to your sewing machine okay the next step is around how you can edit the designs that you've imported so I'm just going to import one. Something that's visible. Okay. So if we open up the little toolbox here, we've got a lot of different little options. So the arrows in the middle, that just allows you to move the graphic around. The one with the circles and arrows lets you basically twist it. Now you'll find with this, in some ways I find the PC, uh, the sewing machine easier to do this on, but you can tap it to get just one or two degrees 
or you can take this and I just find in the middle and move it around but I find it just moves a little bit too much but nonetheless um, I've used it a couple of times but I do find what I want to do is normally 45 degrees or 90 degrees type situation and in some ways I just wish they gave you the option to pick those the next option allows you to zoom in and out to make it bigger or smaller this is only 20% smaller or 20% larger so to do this you tap on it and you can just pull down to make it smaller and you can go up to make it bigger and it will go up to 120% that's as far as it will go and as you can see even though it's bigger than the hoop it still lets you go that big so it's quite an interesting option there the next one is um, what you can use for text so we'll come back to that the first one on the bottom line allows you to switch the invert it doesn't really change too much with this design but if we fold it over the next one shows a little bit easier now I'm just going to move this down further what I want to do is hit the third one over which is a heart basically this pops it straight back in the middle really good if you've been playing around and you just want to start again go back to the beginning this next one over here allows you to make a copy of it so as you can see it flipped down and if we move them apart you'll see so here's one way why you'd use this I'm just going to tap that upside down move this one down here move this one up here and basically you have a mirror image of the two together get some really cool effects with this now if we had a smaller design so let's do that and just delete that and tap that and delete that we might go and find that heart that we had there it is there what you can do is take this tap it and it will give you four versions of it like so what I really hoped it would do is actually put them next to each other and line them out for you but it doesn't actually do that and you can keep hitting it to get multiple so if you're wanting to do multiples of the same thing it's a really good way of doing it and we can just keep adding and then we can hit the rubbish bin and just take them all away what I am going to show you is a quick way say you've made a complete mess of this we can go up to the top left where it's a pencil and paper we can go create new design and it just gets rid of all the last one thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe in the bottom here and remember that there should be another video in the next week or so thank you